Earlier on this year we got a sneak preview of a new product from AT Tackle, a product that enables any Steve Neville user to have a remote alarm system. It's now available, so I've come down to see Darren, see how easy it is to actually fit. Hi Joe, no problem. It is a pretty straightforward job. If you like a bit of soldering. If you like a bit of soldering, although I'll show you there is a way you can do this that doesn't involve soldering as well, if you really, really are uh, worried. I haven't actually done any soldering since school. I mean, so. See, yeah, a few guys haven't attached uh, line since then, but um, it's pretty, I mean, it's only two wires at the end of the day, and if you get them the wrong way around, all that will happen is it won't work. It won't damage the alarm, won't damage the back itself. So you can just swap the wires back and the uh, jobs are good. And now these have been available for a couple of months now. Um, uptake's sort of starting to pick up a bit. A few people are reluctant with um, installation and so forth. But what we thought today, we'll show you how easy that really can be. Screws out the back, back removed. You can see there's just two connections in there. There's no colouring on a lot of the wires, it's just the same. So that's not a problem, you haven't got to worry about that. And I'll show you why in a second. All right, only two connections to remove. Pretty straightforward, just a bit of desoldering required. There's one away. And then a second. So they're just literally heating it up. That's it, yeah, just, yeah, float the solder to itself, lift the wire out, take it back out of the way, and it's ready to go. Now, what I prefer to do to make it easy when you fit this is to apply a bit of solder to the pads you've left behind. So you've got a blob on each one. So that means when you reheat, when you fit the back itself, you've got less work, less risk of actually, or you don't damage the plastic of your alarm, you know, at the end of the day. It comes with gaskets supplied. You've got comprehensive instructions here, print out showing you which way around, where to find the pads, what colours to use on our wires, which are in every single back. Back itself has got the two wires, red and black, makes that easy for installation, and two gaskets. Explains in there quite clearly which alarms use which gaskets. Yep. And, and you can see the back's rebated to take that. So it forms a watertight seal, so you don't have to worry about applying the blue glue, you know, that you have on the alarms. So once you've fitted it, if you change the battery, it's not an issue because the gasket covers all that quite nicely. Excellent. Now then, back connections. The black one goes to the top pad in each, each situation. That one there. That's the back one, one there. Red at the bottom. Heat that solder there, flow that. Okay, right, that's the wires connected. Insert your battery, positive down on the back, check your battery when you insert it, make sure it's the right way around. Clip the battery in. And put your receiver into program mode, holding the button down, switching on till the lights come on. Right, it's now in program mode. Turn on the alarm. The light's gone out, so we know that's programmed into the receiver now. So we'll turn the receiver off. And on again, scroll through, it's now ready, and there we go. Enough, mate, there, it? <laughs> there you go, see, so fish on, and that's how that sits like that. So, fitting the gasket, just feed that over the back, and round, there you go, that's in there. When you close the back on the alarm, oh, let's turn that off so you can hear me. When you close, make sure the wires come down and round the battery that way, because the antenna runs in the back, so you've got the wires going down the alarm. It's only a sort of rule of thumb worth noting with this. Hold that into place, and you can see, very unobtrusive, you've got a watertight seal all around the alarm. Then it's just a matter of refixing the four screws. Job's done. Do you know what, that's so simple, I reckon even I could manage that. Easy peasy, yeah? <laughs> okay, another approach to this, if you're nervous about getting the soldering iron actually inside your alarm, is to just technically cut and shut. Chop your old back out. And then strip these back a little bit. There and there. Can use me right for this. Tin the connections before you do it, so it's just basically flying a bit of solder onto the connections, just so it makes it easier to solder them when you come to do the join. I'll show you how that all works. Put that there, splash there. And there. A couple of bits of shrink tube. I mean, everyone's got shrink tube in their box. So whatever size fits you are, you've got to hand. As long as most of it's three to one shrink, so just feed that over the wires. Obviously to protect the connections once you've done it. Put your alarm ready for action there. 
bit of solder on the tip, and then basically make off the connections. One there, and one there. It doesn't have to be super duper neat. Two connections are made, they're both strong, you can give a little tug test and feed the tube over each connection. Tubes in situ. Uh, for speed here, we're not going to shrink it down, but obviously apply a little bit of heat there just to shrink it off. And again, remember the rule to dress it down under the battery area, back in position. Oh, there you go. As you can hear, successful install. And that was by applying a simple joint to the wires. Two minute job. Two minute job. Well, like I say, mate, obviously very simple job, but if there were people that were unsure, you still provide a service? Yeah, then? we'll provide the service for you. Like I say, not, not everyone's competent with a soldering or even owns a soldering iron. Um, if you send it, we've got a new website just been launched. Busy, busy site now. But on there we've got facilities, um, we've got the upgrades listed. Um, so if you, if you weren't too sure, you could basically come on there, click on a supply and install for, the, for that. Um, pay it online, send your alarms to us, and then we'll install the back prof like professionally in, in workshop and return it to you with registered post. Okay. And if you send your original sales receipt for your Neville, we'll pick up the remainder of the warranty on your alarm for you as well. Yeah? Yeah, so that's how confident we are that, you know, it'll, it'll be smooth, so... Top service service. Works off, yeah, that's oh. it, you know, you've got to be done. I've noticed there's a few other companies' buzzers laying around here. What's oh, yeah, yeah, well, um, you know, we're not biased to our own products. We'll fix any bit of kit that, that's faulty. In, so in, any, any buzzers, any receivers? Any buzzers, any receivers. If it's got a problem and, you've, you, and you're outside your warranty and you want to get it sent in, just there's a PO box and contact form on the website. Just follow that through there and I'll take over the process and get it repaired and back to you as fast as possible. No, I bet there's loads of people out there with broken <laughs> buzzers sitting I in think the ship. I quite a few, mate. Yeah, yeah it's got to yeah. be cheaper than replacing them. Really. Which is it, yeah. You know, it's, it's, and if, if you've had your PBs on them or, you know, a bit of history with the alarms, you want to keep them going, you know, so... We'll, we understand that, so we're offered to sort of back it up with a repair. Without that, brilliant. OK, mate, so uh, anything else in the pipeline? Well, yeah, funny enough, we're just working on a prototype. We've got a receiver due out. Um, we're just doing some final testing on it now. Obviously, this is its naked form. It's not how it's going to physically look colour-wise, but it's packed with a bunch of new features, um, things that we think are quite exciting. Going to certainly move it ahead in the, in the uh, receiver market. And this should hopefully be ready for the shops early 2012. Wicked. All right, well, when it's done, we'll uh, get out on the bank and see it in action. Definitely, mate. Top, Top man. man. See you, Darren. Nice one.